loosen these screws here so we can take the tension off the belt. And just slide back like that. And your belt is loose. Take the cover off. off to the side. Okay, we'll take the uh, snap ring off. Loosen it up and get it started. Set that off to the side. Now we'll take a rod. It could be smaller than this. And from the other side, we'll push the shaft through. This comes off before you put the shaft off. The screws that hold this in place are with the cover. So once the cover comes off, this is loose. I'm going to set it off to the side. Okay, and before you pull the shaft off, hold your uh, spacer. That'll come out. And set this off to the side. Okay, we're going to take off two screws here with a three millimeter wrench. First one out. Pull the motor. As you can see, it's loose. And you can set the motor off to the side. And loosen the adjusters on the other side, which are identical to this side. And loose your belt is loose. Now we'll take off the bed plate. Now, we'll just do one half of the conveyor. The other half will be identical from here on out. So we'll loosen these screws here. There's four screws on here, two in front and two in the back. This comes out. So, okay, and these head plates just pull out, and you'll see a pin in here that you can push out the three millimeter wrench or whatever drift punch you have. And the roller will come out. Same with this side. Here's your belt. Okay, now we're going to put the belt on. belt around the roller. Let's roll it inside the head plate. Put the pin back in, making sure the flat on the pin is facing towards the bed plate. And this end on. Problems, make sure the pin is flush on both.
both sides and it slides right on. Now we'll take the other side, put your roller on first, put the roller and belt inside your head plate, put your pin with your flat on the pin, this part here towards here. Flat of the pin, flat with the edge. And that goes on. Put your bolt on there. Take your drive module. Push it in place. So you can tighten these four screws. Just a little loose at this point in time. So it's got a little boot in here so we can get our shaft to slide through here, through your motor, and then back out the other module. At this point in time, put our motor on. Turn these screws in as far as you can by hand. Just leave them a little loose. Now we'll take the key. Okay, like that. Put the shaft in a little bit. Take the spacer. Put it between the motor and the drive module. And finish pushing the shaft through. Lift the motor a little bit so the shaft goes through both modules. And using the belt and pulling on it, you can line up the keyway on a drive module with the keyway on the shaft. Okay, now we can take the key, put it in here, and if it gets stuck right where the motor is, then you can pull the belt and that'll turn the drive module so everything lines up. And the key goes all the way in like so. I'm going to push the shaft in until your snap ring groove is visible. And you can put the snap ring in at this time. Stacking is seated in the groove properly. Now I can come back and tighten up these screws. Two low head cyclic cap screws that secure the motor to the frame. And these four screws here. Okay, all our screws are tight, all eight screws here. Now we'll put the bed plate on. Push down on the bed plate to get it seated into the frame. Make sure it's flush right here. So the belt doesn't make noise going over the bed plate. This cover on it. We'll probably want a tension belt. We can move these arms towards the inside, towards the middle of the module. Take this one move up to the middle.
height. And the same with the other one here. If you were to do two dots. Now we can put our cover on. That's it.